Namaskar. I'm Dr. Anshu Arora. I'm a passionate educationist and administrator, author, speaker, blogger, YouTuber. And of late, I have developed an app about how to increase your brain power. I have to thank Fizz Robotic Solutions who have come up with this wonderful social initiative called the Shesha Kids and Mailin, where opportunities are given to the best people in this field who come here and deliberate their views about learning and about education. Education is one field where one continues to learn throughout and the only mantra is learn, relearn and unlearn. Today, I'm going to talk about a very unique and special product, Increase Your Brain Power. I opened a Brain Power Institute almost two decades back and realized that brain power is something which one can work upon. There are various tools and techniques through which you can enhance your memory. We all have infinite capability, but a significantly large amount of our brain remains untapped. We have conscious and subconscious mind, and actually speaking, we utilize no more than 5 to 10 percent of our total potential. The conscious brain is responsible for our decisions and analysis. But if we can somehow tap into our subconscious mind, which has our beliefs, values, habits, emotions, feelings and creativity, then we can unleash a lot for ourselves. This is possible because there is a critical filter between our conscious and subconscious mind. My app will teach you how you can achieve this. Let's see what happens in a typical class. When a class is in progress, the teacher is busy trying to complete the syllabus in the best way possible. The best teaching styles are definitely used by the teacher. But is the best learning happening? Question mark. And of course, children are busy with their pranks and learning is very low. Learning by and large is a challenge for children today because of all the distractions that they have around them. The app iBrainPower will help to increase your memory and harness yours and your child's infinite potential, which if not unveiled, remains untapped throughout. The brain and memory. It talks about the structure of your brain, the left and the right brain, your subconscious mind, learning by changing beliefs and better memory. To learn effectively, we need to move from simple to complex, easy to difficult, and known to unknown. Whatever we learned is actually retained by synapse, which is formed between two brain cells. So more of these connections and the better is our memory. We have left and right brain. If we somehow learn to utilize both left and right brain to the fullest, then our learning is going to improve many fold. Your reality is created by you through your beliefs. You must have all seen a huge elephant tied to a simple rope. How do you think this happens? The reason is, when the elephant is very young, it is tied to iron heavy chains and no matter how hard he tries, he is not able to set himself free. Ultimately, the elephant gives up and considers this as his fate. And even later on, when this is replaced with a simple rope, his belief does not change 
and he's not able to free himself. The second chapter is Styles and Bharyas, which talks about principles of learning, learning styles, most essential tool of learning, learning and sense organs, learning barriers, exam tips, how to increase your word power and improving your reading. Well, according to the Boomsticks on me, we need to go through these steps for learning something. At the bottom is remembering, then comes understanding, applying. The app clearly helps you to cover these three areas. And once you have done this, the app gives you a little peep into analyzing, evaluating and creating. So not just learning, but overall development will happen once you have seen all the 30 videos. There are various types of learners, visual, auditory, kinesthetic. All this is discussed in the app. Well, many a times, this is what we wanted to learn, but ultimately, what we learn is something very different, distorted, deleted information. All this is because of the learning barriers that we should be well aware of. Our reading speed is very important. Those who can read fast can also retain more and finish more syllabus in lesser time. And in reading, your word knowledge, how many words do you really know and understand is very important. The app covers ways to increase your word power. It also gives revision strategies that are bound to work for you. The most important chapter is the tricks and tips because we all like the practical application of any product. So in this it covers various topics like learning the names of all the Prime Ministers of the country from 1947, all 16 names by just a short story, all the 15 presidents of India, learning by association, mind maps, diagrams, use of flowcharts, timelines, sequential learning, learning tables right from 9 to 99, higher mathematics, converting numbers to alphabets and vice versa, learning in alphabetic order to make it easy and simple, mnemonics, acronyms, success mantra through acronym. This is a nice chapter which gives you the different skills needed in life. Then we cover the various chapters of Gita through Mind Palace technique. Through this technique, any amount of large information can be learnt only by utilizing various elements of space and imagination. In the end, there is also summary of Gita since you have already learnt the 18th chapters in the 16th video. The timelines are very beneficial in learning the dates in history, how to make them and how to use them is covered in the app. Mathematics and tables multiplication in the Japanese time is taught along with the grid method which is very simple and makes multiplications very easy. Flowcharts are diagrammatic solutions to any problem. The various symbols, various flowcharts are all discussed. How to remember names? If you cannot recognize a person and if you cannot remember the name, your relationship with the person weakens. The app covers ways to learn and remember names. Learning something in alphabetic order really saves time and makes your concepts very easy. 
mind maps are very powerful. Mind map actually means converting the whole idea into a picture. Acronyms and mnemonics are also very, very powerful techniques. Let them show. Zipcure is a simple acronym you all remember for the seven colors of rainbow. And a mnemonic, like my very elegant mother, just showed me the nine planets for remembering the nine planets. Various examples of these two types are given in the app. Historical information and dates, like William Bentick abolished Sati system in 1829, can be remembered if you know how to convert this number into alphabets. Actually, 18 stands for R, 2 stands for B, and 9 stands for I. So if we just write that and pull out some alphabets from the main sentence, will be Saturday also a holiday at RBI. Then RBI and 1829 can be easily remembered. Bill will remind us of William, B will remind us of Bendig, and Sat will remind us of Sati. Learning things in some kind of a sequential order, like putting these words and numbers and then learning them in the same order. This can be done by value, shape, and how they rhyme. This is very effective in long-term memory. Mind Palace method is also a very effective tool for learning. It, it utilizes space, visual elements, and imagination, along with linking. I'm sharing a video from my app how to memorize the names of all the PMs of India. Through this video, we will memorize the names of all our Prime Ministers since 1947. Just listen to this short story. Nehruji asked his friend Shastriji to take his daughter Indira to Mirarji Babu to touch his charan. Indra became religious and took her son Rajiv to Vishwanath temple where they met freedom fighter Chandrasekhar and then together they went to nursing temple. Outside the temple, Tamne se Atal ghore par guzre, Atal manmohak lag rahe the. So this is a simple story with three lines. But each line gives us a lot of few words. Five names are hidden in each line. Let's see those hidden words. Nehruji, Shastriji, Indra, Murarji, Charan, Indra, Rajiv, Vishwanath, Chandrasekhar, Narsing, Atal, Ghode, Guzre, Atal, Manmohan. And yes, the 16th Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. So just for records, let's look at the list and see if we got all 15 of them in the right order. The first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru from 47 to 64, he had asked his friend Shastri Ji, Lal Bahadur Shastri from 64 to 66 to take his daughter Indira, Indira Gandhi from 1966 to 1977. To see Moralji Babu, Moralji gives us the word Moralji Desai from 1977 to 1979. To touch the Charan, Charan will give us the name Charan Singh from 79 to 80. Indra came in power again. So Indra had got religious. So Indra again from 1980 to 84 had taken her son Rajiv. Rajiv was Prime Minister from 1984 to 89. Where did they go? Vishwanath Temple. So we get the name of another Prime Minister, Vishwanath Pratap Singh from 89 to 90. And they had met the freedom fighter Chandrasekhar, 1990 to 91. And together they all went to nursing. Nursing will remind us of Narsimha Rao. 
who were there from 1991 to 96. And what did they see outside the uh, temple? Atal, Atal Bihari Vajpayee. First he came in position for one and a half months in 1996. He was on a horse, Ghode. So Ghoda will remind us of H.T. Devagoda, who was there in position from 96 to 97. Guzre, Guzre will remind us of I.K. Gujral, 1997 to 1998. Again, Atal was there in position. Atal Bihari Vajpayee from 1998 to 2004. And he was looking Manmohak. Manmohak reminds us of Dr. Manmohan Singh, 2004 to 2014. 15 major lead names learned through three simple lines followed by our present Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. So this was easy. Don't run away from history. Trust me, history may lead to new insights. Just find nice and innovative ways of learning and memorizing things. God bless. Happy learning. My heartfelt gratitude for your support. Your action, trust me, can give directions to someone. Thank you and God bless. Innovation pays off.